are all me fixing everything and because there is always something to be fixed I want to show you a problem with Impa that I will just solve uh, this is the problem this is a uh, problem with the with the actual controller it doesn't find it doesn't find this as it should so now I'll show you in the device manager we'll just type in device how it shows up how the computer is finding it if you go here to universal serial bus controllers this is what it finds here and when we go to properties in advanced and driver it's not fine that as you should, you can't set up a COM port if we go to this one and we'll plug the same thing always plug it in the same hole I only use one here so if you go here you can see it's in ports coms and you, you see it finds it as a serial port so what we're gonna do now is uh, we'll get rid of the drivers for this specific one so we'll just remove any drivers or so just open the internet and we will uh, get to the FTDI or what is called drivers um, give me a second I'll show you now so we need to remove the FTDI drivers and we'll type here FTDI driver removal tool this will get us to the official pair CDM uninstaller I already have it in my computer but uh, I don't really know where it is no it's not here uh, it's in the utility page of the FTDI website I will find it no type in utility clean utility can we find it? That, that's the explanation how it's all used CDM uninstaller down here and we need uh, we need a GUI version, GUI it's uh, the user friendly version press here, it's very small very small thing, I'll just, I'll just unplug it did you open it? Uh, GUI remove the ID press add remove devices okay and now when we plug this one in system is not gonna recognize the driver which is lovely we don't have drivers anymore we need a CDM 2.0830 and that's why I found it You're, you can find it somewhere on the internet and what we need is the QHQL certified uh, release and that's the zip file that's the zip file I'm using I just typed it on the internet it was the first choice if you can find it from somewhere you can th think it's safer CDM 2.0835 and uh, well here it's come up a little bit different but this is what I just go through the pages you'll find it somewhere and we'll just download this one showing folder we 
or extracted delayed this one I'm running out of power so let's be quick device manager again and I think this is the unknown device yeah good properties no device update software Bryce my let me pick up a device next have a disk browse and where is it in downloads uh, downloads open uh, what was it this one and we needed us uh, the first one I think was the bus open okay next okay we got this message close no zero converter upgrade driver browse my list here a disk I think it will remember yeah and then it's port open okay next serial converter close uh, restart your computer now no and does it work now properties advanced no Well, let's restart it then and we'll see. Well, I uh, restarted the thing again and uh, it was uh, not finding it. Then I installed the same thing, the bus file. And now I can see it is finding it. So I'll just pull it out to make sure it's, it's finding it okay. Ports, COM1 properties driver com settings we'll move this one to the highest possible okay advanced here is com3 and uh, we'll go to the uh, bin file of that impa adiabas bin and we're looking for the obd file it says com1 so we will replace this one to COM1 COM1 uh, millisecond latency timer this is the refresh rate we will set it to 1 second ok this will just do this COM1 lovely start this as administrator And now it will give a fault, but it's gonna be different, and it's gonna be for uh, yeah. Uh, this is the data transmission to the interface. This is because it's not plugged in into the car. Uh, there we go, lovely. I hope this video has been any help to you, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you have any more issues, I have a few videos related to the Impa. Uh, you can find them in my channel. Just type Impa, and you'll find them. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.